Hey man, say man, welcome back to Deontay TV, the favorite channel your cable provider can't provide. Y'all know the rest. So finish it for me. Because if you're a returning subscriber, you already know it, I'm going to say. But if you new, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell for your boy. So you can be notified every time I drop bangers like this one, man. And I know for a while on the channel, I just been doing a bunch of reaction videos, but I want to get back in front of the camera. You did. I want to get back to talking to y'all, man. I want to get back to doing stuff and things with y'all, you know, because I ain't pulled out this tripod in a minute. I ain't gave y'all no, ooh, waves coming in. I ain't gave y'all no content in a minute, though, so I just decided y'all going to cook with me today. You did? Y'all already know I got my um degree in culinary arts. So I be chefing it up. I be throwing down a little bit. A little something, something. I'm finna show y'all what we gonna be cooking today. It's this little recipe I seen on TikTok. Um I'm probably not going to edit this video either, but it's a little recipe I've seen on TikTok. It's like, you get your air fryer, you get your bread, you get your bacon and your eggs, right? So, we got, matter of fact, let me just show y'all, let me just show y'all what we, what we working with over here. What we working with over here. You know, you got your eggs, got your bacon, got your margin. I'm going to spice mine up a little bit. I'm going to put pepper and garlic powder. You know what I'm saying? Mix it up. You're going to sprinkle it on there. Got your air fryer. Set your air fryer to 360. Set your air fryer to 360 for like 14 minutes, right? Now, I'm going to show y'all how you're going to do this. All right. Take your bread. Take your bread. I know I just said that like four times, but all right. Y'all see that? Y'all can. Oh, I just hit my head. It's a little cricket dog. I don't know how to work this thing. I just bought a new ring light and I don't know how to work it. and break it down a little bit for y'all. Bear with me, bro, because it's, it's, it's weird. All right, you're going to take your bread. I ain't going to do all that. I know what y'all thinking. This man said you're going to take your bread about five, six times. hit it like that right you're gonna lay your bread out now in her video I didn't see her use now in her video I didn't see her use margin but this ain't her video, this my video. You did what I'm saying? So the way I'ma do it, we gonna take the margin. Damn, that's a lot. We gonna spread it on the bread. Growing up, man, I love toast. I ain't gonna hold you. I love toast. I used to legit go in the kitchen and cook toast and grits for myself all the time. Legit all the time. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, my nigga. I just want to eat toast and grits. 
All right, boom. You do that like that. And the way, the way the lady did it on TikTok, you, cause you gonna put, you gonna put egg in it, right? You gonna put egg inside of it, right? I know I said I wasn't gonna edit this video, but that's cap. I gotta edit it because I'm, I'm, I'm moving around. I'm doing a lot. So check it out. All right, y'all give me one second. All right, so boom. <coughs> Shit. Then like, you gonna put a hole, not like really a hole, just like a smack, smack the bread a little bit. Then you're gonna take, you're gonna take your bacon, all right? So you're gonna take your bacon. If I can even get it out the pipe. Now, I got extra long bacon. So, What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do mine a little different because mine gonna be sandwiches pretty much. And you know, bacon costs a lot of fucking money because, like, adulting is crazy. Adulting is real crazy because why bacon costs so much? You know, like, but. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut the bacon, right? I'm gonna cut it, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we gonna put the egg in the middle. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all. Just give me one second. All right, now, this is what it's supposed to look like before. Now, we gonna slide it on in the air fryer. We gonna hit air fry. We gonna hit start. And we gonna come back in 14 minutes and I'm gonna show y'all the end product. So shit, while that's cooking, you know, you need to. Growing up in the black house, you learn this. Clean as you go. Mama don't play that having mess all over her kitchen. How y'all been though, man? You know, how y'all 2022 been so far? I mean, as far as for me, life is gone, life going on, you dig? I don't know, I don't know what I'm out here doing. I don't know where I'm going, none of that. I don't know any team. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna make some grits with it. But I don't really know what's going on, man. I mean, I mean I got my CDL. I'm out here truck driving and shit now. Um just been living, man. Just trying to get back to where I was, you know what I mean? I'm trying to adjust to life. I don't know what happened, bro. I think, I don't know, it just started recording. But, as I was saying, man, I'm trying to get back on track with life and all that good stuff, you know? New blessings coming, man. New year, new blessings, man. We gotta stay positive all year. Oh yeah, and I just got yeti. You know, nine nine nine. It's not six six six. It's nine nine nine. But if you see it as six six six, that's what you see it as. But I got the tattoo. A lot of you know Juice Roll is my favorite artist. Um, well, one of my favorite artists, my most favorite artist of all time. It's a little fat, but Juice Roll is one of my favorite artists, and. The 999 represents 
anything that I'm faced with, anything that I'm going through, any negative situation, any ill situation, any bad situation that I'm going through, I can flip that shit and I can make it positive. I can make it into a positive situation. You dig what I'm saying? That's what the tattoo stands for. That's what the tattoo represents in my eyes. I don't know if I got to the part, I think it stopped recording by then, but I'm also cooking grits to go along with this. I'm cooking grits. <clears throat> I normally cook my grits with milk, but a youngin ain't had no milk today. So, he had to use water instead of milk. I don't know about y'all, but I put, I put cheese, I put, <laughs> I put cheese, I put pepper, and I put salt and butter in my grits. So when you see my grits, don't talk about my grits because they look a little weird, all right? Mind your business. Mind the business that pay you. And I'm not paying you to mind my business. I remember that. But yeah. It's butter grits, man. We got 32 seconds until the finished product comes out of that air fryer. All right, 32 seconds. And I'm finna show y'all. Y'all gonna be like, damn, that shit look good as fuck on babies. Count down with me. Can I sing to you? Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it is done. It is done. <clears throat> oh, oh. I think that. Damn, that shit look good, nigga. Hold on. Hold on now, I gotta cut the flash on for y'all to see this. Damn! Look at how good that shit look, man. The egg then puffed up and everything, man. That shit looks delicious. Now let me, don't, don't drink my grits now. Don't drink my goddamn grits. Got the grits to go along with it, man. Come on. It ain't even breakfast time, but thank God for this breakfast food we're about to devour. Amen. Amen. Because I want to sit down and I want to enjoy this feast. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what it looked like, though. Oh, look at that. Damn, that shit hot. Hold on, I'm gonna taste it real quick. I'm gonna have me dance like Bobby fucking Schmurder in here, nigga. Look at the way that egg cooked. Look at the way that egg cooked. Bro, the air fryer is the best shit ever invented, boy. I promise you it is. Hot. Shit, boy. Shit. It's so good, but it's so hot. But, hey, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping into this video, man. I appreciate y'all for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. All that stuff, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. Especially all the people that's been down with me since day one. Since my first food review. 
at Cracker Barrel. I appreciate y'all. But hey, man. Till next time, bro. Stay safe in these streets. May God keep blessing you. And keep God in your life.